السلام علیکم فرینڈز دس از سامی اینڈ یور واچنگ سول انجینئرز یوٹیوب چینل ڈیئر فرینڈز ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈفرینس بٹوین ٹائی بیم اینڈ پلینٹ بیم اینڈ دیئر پرپز لیٹس گیٹ اسٹارٹ اینڈ ڈونٹ فار گیٹ ٹو لائک دس ویڈیو اینڈ شیئر دس ویڈیو وتھ یور فرینڈز سو فسٹ آف آل آئی ول ڈیفائن واٹ از پلینٹ بیم سو دس از دا سمپل ڈیفینیشن اباؤٹ پلینٹ بیم دیٹ پلینٹ بیم از اے رینفورسڈ کنکریٹ بیم which constructed between the wall and foundation and sometime plant beam is also constructed on the DPC damp proof course and this is the photo for plant beam and building construction now we have some purpose for the plant beam that why we provide or why we construct the plant beam and building construction so purpose of plant beam we provide the plant beam to prevent the extension of cracks from foundation into the wall and plant beam is distribute the load of the wall to the foundation which can make the wall from the long cracks and plant beam is also used to prevent the building from the seepage now use of steel and plant beam okay so use 12 mm dia of the steel at the bottom of the plant beam and also use 10 mm dia of steel at the top of the plant beam okay suppose this is the plant beam this is the cross section so use 12 mm dia at the bottom okay 12 mm dia okay this dia should be 12 mm okay and use 10 mm dia of steel at the top of the plant beam okay 10 mm dia keep in your mind this point now and don't keep the depth of plant beam less than 20 cm okay and also use 25 mm concrete cover for plant beam okay now we have uh, the tie beam okay that what is tie beam so tie beam is located above the ground floor which connects column and footing and this is the horizontal beam which transfer the load to the column of the structure and also we can define the tie beam that tie beam uh, is a structure member which carry the load and it's gave the load to the other members and tie beam together members which are column beam footing and wall frame okay and tie beam is too much important in building structure okay so this is the photo for the tie beam and this is column okay these two are the column and this is called tie beam okay so tie beam is tie what beam and column or footing with each other and it, it support the structure load to the uh, to other member okay so this is the tie beam so it uh, gave the load to for example this is the slab okay so it get okay so it take or get the load from the slab okay to column okay so therefore it's called tie beam and this beam is too much important in building construction okay so now we have some purpose of tie beam okay so tie beam is used for the column and when its height of the column is more than 4 or to 5 meter okay if this column height is more than 4 to 5 meter we must be provide the tie beam okay and other then we provide the tie beam for the structure okay if the height of the column is less than 4 meter then we have to not design the tie beam in building structure okay now keep the spread footing and their position during seismic event so this is the purpose that tie beam can keep the spread footing and their position and during seismic events okay another serve as great beam to redistribute the vertical load through moment and shear and events of different settlement okay this is the other purpose other serve as stirrup footings to support interior or exterior walls okay so these are too much important their purpose okay and there this is the difference between tie beam and plant beam and if you need the article about this video you don't miss to visit to my website www.severstudents.com or the link is in the description of this video click on that link and also read the article 